My game sucks. Let's do something about that. Currently, we can do a grand total of two different things, run and jump. Now, this doesn't make for very thrilling gameplay. I think we can all agree on that. So I added a couple things to improve it. First, we now have a double jump, allowing you to jump twice. I know, revolutionary stuff. Secondly, we now have a dash, which basically does the same thing, but instead of going up, you go sideways, and instead of falling back down again, you just keep going, and it's really nothing like a double jump. Third, I really tried to make a wall jump, but when I say tried, I mean failed miserably, to the point I almost wanted to give up the entire project, but it's fine, I just got rid of it entirely, no wall jumping in this game. Okay, so we now have two functional movement options besides running and jumping. Great, let's add some more stuff. This is a jump pad, a small platform that when you stand on it, shoots you into space. We should probably decrease the force on that one a bit, but we'll do that later. For now, we move on to the one-way platform, a mechanic that is in basically every platformer ever, allowing you to jump through a platform when below it. Very simple, but essential for a good platformer. Next, we have a spike trap, because no game is good without a little danger. It will activate when you stand on it, and after that, it will give you about half a second to get out of the way or face the consequences, which is death. And speaking of death, let me introduce you to the spike ball, which, unlike its name, isn't actually a ball. It's more of a spike square, but that doesn't sound as good. Anyway, this spiky shape floats between two set points, killing everything in its way. Simple, but effective. Okay, with all these new mechanics, I think it's about time we actually use them. So let's do some level design. Right, we're gonna start by mapping out our level. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to give us a vague idea of what the level is gonna look like. And to be honest, after about a year of not making platformer levels, I am ashamed to admit how difficult I found this process. And I don't think the level is any good at all, but for now, I don't really care. So after I mapped out this horrible level, it was time to head over to GIMP and draw it using pixel art. This was quite easy, and after finishing, I just brought it over to Unity and started adding colliders. You also might have noticed that I put spikes everywhere, and that is because I hate myself, and I know I'm going to die to them a thousand times. Okay, moving on from that, it was time to add the finishing touches, like jump pads, spike traps, and spike balls, because it clearly wasn't difficult enough. Anyway, with that done, this is our brand new level. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it is incredibly difficult. So difficult even that I, the person who made this level, couldn't reach the end. I recorded for like 10 minutes waiting for me to reach the end. I just couldn't do it. But to be honest, I don't know if that's because of my bad level design or because of my horrible platformer skills. However, if we ignore that I suck at platforming, all the things we made in this video did work. And I'd even go as far as saying that my game isn't bad anymore. I mean, it's not great, not by any means, but it's what I'd actually call a game now. And that definitely counts for something. Alright, before I end the video, I'd just like to show you the absolute mess that is a testing scene for this devlog. Just complete chaos. I love it so much. Bye.